What's up fam and thank you so so much for stopping by the channel once again from us over here at Locust and Wild Honey. So as you guys already know we've been doing a series of videos where we discuss our favorite garments from our favorite stores. You guys already know this but spring fashion is in full effect and brands are coming out with all their newest stuff. Of course um, the things that we show you today might not be relevant five, six, seven months from now but it is very relevant to today, so we decided to do this video, and today we're gonna to be discussing Forever 21. I love this store. They have a ton of great alternative to expensive things. Um, they do a moderately good job of quality, but the pricing is key when it comes to this place. They're always on point when it comes to trends, so this was a definitely a must-do video. Yes, and how about some thumbs up for this series? Like, I've loved recording it, and I hope you guys love watching it because it's super fun. This first item was one that I fell in love with right off the rip. As you guys already know, earth tones and camo have been a huge trend and segment through the duration of fall into winter, and I don't think it's going anywhere for spring. This camo jacket is definitely super sick. It's got that nice oversized look, um, that parka aesthetic. Uh, what I love about it is it's relatively thin, so you can absolutely get away with it, uh, wearing it when it's like 67 degrees out and sunny. Or you can definitely layer it up and make it so you're nice and bundled up and warm if you're in those colder climates. I love the look, I love the aesthetic, and you can really wear a denim sweats, a light blue, dark blue, anything um, on bottom and it'll look really, really good. What do you think about this jacket? I love it. First of all, I can sense what the material is and that's my favorite type of camo material. It's like this thin, like it's the stuff that's actually used in war. That's why I like it. It's like that nylon material. Nylon, yeah. yeah. And then I feel like for spring this will look really cool with anything like V2s with, you know the ones you yeah. have with the red? or like the orange ones, so I love it. The belugas. It. The belugas. You know what's so funny? Shout out to Neems one time for just jumping on the Yeezy train full force. Full force, I have two, I want three, four, five, six. <laughs> yeah guys, so this jacket is definitely worth a look um, as it pertains to sizing. This one looks a little bit oversized and when things are oversized at Forever 21, what I generally do is go true to size. I always size up on things that look like they're gonna fit normal just because uh, Forever 21 garments do run a little bit smaller so it's something to take into account if you're planning to purchase this online. As you guys already know, the link will be in the description or just go ahead and check it out in store. So this next piece is going to be one that's a little bit more uh, forward and what I mean by that is you can absolutely wear it in the spring uh, on the sunnier days but I see myself wearing it more in the summer and it's this tie-dye um, print. It looks super good in my opinion. Uh, it comes both in this hoodie uh, French terry material as well as this t-shirt. I love the print. I see myself wearing this with even cut jean shorts and some like white vans or denim, black denim or, or white denim even. I love this piece. I think it's going to be really cool to rock. Um, and it's one that would be a good investment because you can take it into summer and that's longevity. Yes. And hear us out. French Terry. It's not your like cheap like Walmart fabric. It's like a nice French Terry. So mm. imagine that tie dyed. I think it's pretty cool and I feel like it'll like start, you know, decomposing mm -hmm. like with little fabric shreds. So I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's a really good point that you yeah. said that it's French Terry because it is priced at a pretty high price point for over 21. It is $27.90. The t-shirt is just right around $20. So it's definitely worth a look. And as I said earlier, it's a great investment if you want to get something that's going to be able to transcend just the spring and go into summer and be that really cool summer uh, piece. That way you don't have to shop for Coachella this year. This next piece is one that I find to be really, really cool. Um, again, another piece that you can wear spring or summer and it's this sleeveless uh, gingham printed checker, flannel, whatever you want to call it. Sleeves are cut off and I love the details on the sides to actually button so you can unbutton them mm. and have that almost that split hem looking effect. Definitely looks really cool. Um, it looks like it fits slightly oversized and elongated so it's something to take into account uh, when it comes to sizing. But I think a piece like this would be cool to layer 
throw a tank top under it, uh, throw something on top of uh, it as well, like a bomber or something of that magnitude, denim jacket, would look really, really good. So um, definitely a piece that is very, very versatile given the color and the print. So I definitely think it's cool, what do you think? I want to go out and buy that like tomorrow. I really <laughs> like it. I love the color of it, how it's white. It looks like All Saints. I have that hoodie underneath it too. Like I could wear it with Vans, I could wear it with Yeezys. Like I think you might see me buy that tomorrow. Man, these videos are poison for us to make <laughs> yeah, because know, truth like, be told, like we like look through this stuff, it's like, how do I not already own this? All right, we're gonna, next vlog, we gotta yeah, go to these stores and, and buy it. This and is actually all money. not a great idea. <laughs> yeah, guys, so this is definitely a piece that's worth a look. Definitely very versatile. And the price point is $22.90, so it's, Definitely a nice price point, very fairly priced, as you guys know, and are probably familiar with from Forever 21. All right, guys, so this next piece comes with a little bit of humor because it is an unapologetic, blatant copy Ooh, of power. Fear of God sleeveless flannel, and I absolutely love it. $500 for a sleeveless flannel? Come on, who's rid ridiculous enough to buy that? I know. Like, this guy? <laughs> well, I mean, what do you, like, do you see a quality difference between this and that, or, you know, what do you think? Honestly, right off the jump, um, I do, obviously, the quality is incomparable. Uh, the quality of the fabric, I felt his, by the way, and it's a lot thinner, um, it's less, um, like, I guess, like, fuzzy, yeah. if you will. Like, I think that's a perfect way to describe it. Yeah, the, the material is just a lot thinner, um, which is can be a good thing, to be honest with you, as it gets warmer. Um, obviously, it has the raw edges, so they did an A-plus job on that, replicating that. The zippers are super light. Um, obviously, they're not Riri. Uh, they're just Forever 21 brand zippers, and you don't you can't expect too, too much from a $20 flannel. But that being said, I think it is... A great alternative to be honest with you. I'm not even mad about it. And it just it looks good, it fits relatively well. Yeah, I'm not mad about it at all. I think like fit wise it's amazing. It's just an issue of quality because that the Fear of God one, if you own that in your collection, it's like a collector's item, really, yeah. because it has like the heavy zippers. It's fun. it's like something like you look back in twenty years and you're like, Wow, I own like such a different unique piece but mm -hmm. still for twenty dollars get it try it like i love the adding like the color that it added and the quality is not that bad it's pretty good for twenty dollars yeah absolutely and it doesn't just come in this yellow colorway it comes in a dark blue which is kind of reminiscent of fear of god's flannel again uh, just slightly different print and it also comes in this red color which in my opinion i think it looks really really mm -hmm. good so it's worth a look for sure at twenty dollars you can't really go wrong um can you talk about sizing a little bit before we let them go so Sizing is extremely oversized, so I got all of mine in a small, and if you guys like, I don't know, check my Instagram or whatever, or follow me on there, you would see that they were all really big still on me, and those were a size small. So you wow. can go to extra small even, they carry it. So yeah, the sizing is oversized. Wow, that's interesting, because the sizing is exactly the same for the Fear God stuff, so that's oh, funny. Oh yeah, so it's like exactly the same kind of thing. So the last garment we're gonna talk about is the Forever 21 flannel right here. Um, what I love about it is its color, its print. I think it looks really, really good. Um, why I love Forever 21's flannel so much is because you can't really get a flannel wrong, to be honest with you guys. Um, it's just a piece, basically a piece of fabric that they cut in a specific way, but you can't really get it wrong. There's not a giant um, difference with regard to quality, I guess you can't really find a huge variation. It's just some buttons and some material, so you can't really get it too, too wrong. I love the way this one looks. It fits uh, very, very nicely. It's slightly elongated, and yeah, I just love the color. It kind of reminds me of like the one that we saw at Maxfield during the pop-up yeah. of Fear God. Yeah, and that's was like the colors of that store too, like the carpeting and the mm -hmm. walls and everything. And it's just like a cool 1970s reminiscent piece. And again, like, obviously the fear, fear of God one, quality-wise, will be different. This is still a nice way to add color to your wardrobe. 
All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully it's slightly insightful and helpful to you guys. As you guys already know, it is a huge privilege and pleasure to serve you guys through making these videos for both of us. And we can't thank you enough for all the support and love that you guys give. If you guys did enjoy the video, please consider leaving a thumbs up as it does go such a long way for us YouTubers. If you guys are enjoying the series, please let us know in the comment section down below. And if you guys disagree or you agree with the items that we selected, let us know if there's other pieces that we left up let us know I love hearing from you guys you guys have a lot of you guys have actually suggested a plethora of different things to me and I can't thank you enough for that and yeah man as I end every video here at Locust and Wild Honey I'm gonna say peace and be blessed